nothing on me is straight. Look at me. Maybe this one strand is like the only straight thing about me. Look at this. This one strand. That's the straight strand. What's up, internet fam? How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. If you are new here, my name is Ren and I make LGBTQ lifestyle videos. So if you like that and you like laughing, then hit the subscribe button. Come on, what are you waiting for? Hit it, become part of my internet fam. I make videos every week and during this quarantine, I've been making two videos a week. You're welcome. So today we are doing a meme video, but it's not just any meme video because I'm doing it in collaboration with my internet bestie, Anna Cannon, woo! I love Anna Cannon. I love her. We connected and it's been like, it's so great. I feel like if you love Anna, you will love me. If you love me, you're gonna love Anna because we are the same. We are one. I, I don't know what this means, but it means this is her and this is me and we are one. So for this video, Anna has sent me nine memes and I sent Anna nine memes. So when you're done with this video, go and check hers out, link down below. Go watch it. So let's start and see what Anna has sent me. I hate when I'm staring at a girl cause she's pretty and she thinks I'm hating on her. Nabi, I'm just gay. The F, this is true. I'm notorious for staring at people. I love to stare at people's eyebrows, makeup, hair, clothes, shoes, you name it, I'm looking. People might think that I'm hating, but really I'm, I'm not a hater. I'm a very loving person. And if I'm staring at you, probably I'm admiring something on you. And it's probably not even like a, like a romantic thing or anything like that. It's probably just you're cool. Yeah, it probably doesn't even have anything to do with me being gay. It's just, I love looking at people. My girl, Ellen, let's see. I don't like to label people. The only thing I label is my lunch in the refrigerator here at work. I write lesbian on it so everybody knows. It's mine. <laughs> I'm not big on labels, but I feel like I have to label myself because if I didn't, nobody would know. If I just posted pictures on my Instagram and didn't like hashtag them lesbian or put something lesbian in or wear something rainbow, I don't think anybody would really know that I'm lesbian. So yeah, I definitely feel like I have to label myself sometimes. Otherwise, nobody would ever know. And then I'd be single forever. The straights misuse, when the straights misuse gay slang. You know, at least at least they're trying to use it. Um, if they do misuse it, I'll just kind of be like, yo, like this is, what it means <laughs> but kudos for trying kudos for trying because i have a lot of straight friends and yeah they probably don't know a lot of gay slang honestly probably zero <laughs> besides the term lesbian because they're friends with me <laughs> I'm, I'm a nice person i don't judge if you misuse it i'll just be like hey yo <laughs> let me help you and i hope people do the same for me you know if i misuse something don't don't come at me because i i, I, I try my best <laughs> oh we got a little posty Gays, anything rainbow. That's me. That is me. I love a good rainbow. I got this at Pride one year. They were throwing them and I was like, oh my God, I want it. <laughs> Funny now is that my mother knows that I'm into rainbows. So anytime she buys me something, I feel like there's a rainbow on it somehow. This Christmas, I got a t-shirt with a rainbow on it. My mom just, and last Christmas, I got a t-shirt with a rainbow on it too. It's a vibe, yo, it's a vibe. Rainbows. My crush breathes me. I'm obsessed with her and she's my future wife. Probably me, yeah, yeah. I'm one of those, I'm, uh, uh, I, hate, I hate to say it. I hate to admit it, but I am one of those. <laughs> I'll be just like looking at my crush like, I don't even know your sexuality, but you're my future wife. <laughs> oh God, does that make me sound crazy? Probably, that probably makes me sound really crazy. Oh, maybe I should stop doing that, right? Does anything ever become of it? Sadly, no. Gaze, what's your favorite way to sit wrong? In a chair. Ooh, if, okay. Some of these are ridiculous. And why is 14, why does 14 have such big shoulders and look so wide? I'm not sure. But if number one is crisscross applesauce, that's my favorite way to sit in a chair. Right now you can't see, but I'm sitting crisscross applesauce. Anytime I'm sitting somewhere, it, it's normally crisscross applesauce. I love a good crisscross applesauce. Does that make me childish? 
because I feel like crisscross applesauce is like a kindergartner's favorite way to sit. Crisscross applesauce hangs in your lap. But I love it. I love crisscross applesauce. So if you were on a date with me and we were at a restaurant and I sat crisscross applesauce in my chair, is that a deal breaker? Would you say this girl is too immature or something? My heart. A test. Roller coaster and cute girl says she's gay. I would imagine that if a cute girl said she was gay, my heart would do that. Have I been in that scenario? No. It's Slim Pickens here in Jacksonville, Florida. Slim Pickings. Um, but for the test in the roller coaster, I think we should switch those because during a roller coaster, my heart's not really beating that much. But a test? Don't get me started on tests. I am. Look, I'm already like. I'm already feeling the stress of a test. I don't like tests. I have like big test phobia, if that's how you call it. I'm not sure, I'm sure there's a term for it. I have it. That sounds like a nightmare to me. So yeah, switch those and that's definitely my heart. So we got me, woman in suits. This is true. I would prefer a woman in a suit over a dress any day. Any day. Suits, jumpsuits, ugh, those are just like, can't even talk. Can't even talk. The best. I love them. A woman, a woman in like a beautiful suit, like, oof. Like, don't get me started on Cape Blanchett. She is like, there's no one above Cape Blanchett in my eyes. I mean, her suit game is incredible. She is the most gorgeous creature on earth and when she wears the suit it's just like just takes it up a notch takes it all the way to the top when she's wearing those suits Whew. I need to get me one of those suits you know start looking all suity how to tell your parents you're a lesbian Kayla my hair is straight but I'm not <laughs> As you can see on me, nothing on me is straight. Not my hair. Not my <laughs> so I would say in my yearbook picture, I'd be like, nothing on me is straight. Look at me. Maybe this one strand is like the only straight thing about me. Look at this. This one strand. That's the straight strand. Um, <laughs> the rest of me is. Yeah, but could you imagine if that's how you really came out to your parents in the yearbook? <laughs> in high school, I was not even out really. I think maybe like a handful of people knew, like five maybe, like a whole handful of people knew that about me. I just wasn't interested in like saying anything about it. And I went to a Catholic school, like my whole high school, middle school, elementary school, all Catholic school. So yeah, no, I, I didn't really feel like letting a lot of people know, you know, I, I just wanted to get out of high school and then, you know, but wow. I, I don't think I'd have the guts to say that <laughs> in the yearbook, <laughs> especially where I went. But kudos to her, kudos to her. <laughs> All right, guys, those were my memes that Anna sent me. I think she did a good job, if I do say so myself. Good job, Anna. Good job. I enjoyed them. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And give it a like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. One's probably coming, no, one is coming at you. Friday. So hit that bell so you don't miss it, so you don't forget, because it's coming. It's coming for you. And I hope you have a great rest of the week. Hope you're staying safe, washing your hands. Yeah, doing all that. And I will see you guys soon. Mwah. What's up, internet fam? How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. 